So it's Saturday, September 1st, and I'm out hiking, actually, in the county forest, and uh, I wanted to check it out. We were out here last week, and we noticed some issues, but nothing really bad. One of the biggest problems we have in the forest is we really have no forestry division anymore. We have a division of forestry, but it's only one person. And it's quite evident that we don't have a division of forestry. When you look around and you see what really is a forest that has been let go for the many years now, uh, they do a very good job of maintaining the trails, but the rest of the forest uh, it needs work. Uh, we certainly have lots of downed trees, but we also have trees that probably could be harvested, and we need to clean out a lot of this in order to keep this forest uh, thriving. So we're going to take a look at a few things as we walk down the trail, and uh, we'll also uh, make comments on what we need to do for the forestry division. Uh, this is an example of what you see sometimes in the forest here. You've got tons of old trees uh, that are basically just lying in, uh, in disarray and they're basically preventing the rest of the forest from regenerating. And it's on both sides. I mean, you see it here. Here's the trail. And you go on the other side of the trail and there it is again. Uh, it's just decades of neglect is basically what happened. If you think about it, this land was once uh, completely uh, free of trees. Less than a hundred years ago it was farmland and there was a deliberate attempt by Erie County government to create a forest by planting uh, trees and seedlings in, in this pristine area and here we are less than a hundred years later and we've basically let it go to this condition here. Very sad uh, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to do something in the future to fix this. Uh, it's very dangerous too because at any one time some of these trees that are are weak and need to be taken down, could come down on, unfortunately, one of our residents. This is another example of what we were seeing earlier. This is the Scarbuck Trail uh, we're walking on. Uh, it's a beautiful trail, I'll, I'll admit that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous area, but you really lose the, uh, the loveliness of it when you have uh, downed trees everywhere along the sides of the trail. Uh, I give uh, the county forester, Ed Kowalski, and some of the Parks Department staff uh, a lot of credit for keeping the trail and as safe as can be but you can see what happens when you basically ignore uh, the forest for decades it, it, it really goes to waste and it's sad because it is an absolutely beautiful place but uh, we, we've let it go to waste over all these years and, and, and we really shouldn't do that this is valuable county resources and land and uh, we, we really should be protecting it for future generations Hey, it's Mark Polenkars again. We're on the Scarbuck Trail. We're leaving the one part of the forest and entering more of the, uh, the pine area. This is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you might think you're in a completely different area of the country. Uh, unfortunately, we see a lot of the trees down, as we saw before, but it, it is a gorgeous area. And uh, if you didn't know any better, you would think you're somewhere in the west or, or potentially... Uh, Somewhere along the Appalachian Trail, it's just a beautiful, beautiful area, and it's a, it's a thing that people really don't realize that we have here in Erie County in western New York, and it's open to the public every day, 365 days of the year, free. So if you love to hike, if you love to come out and see nature, you got to come out to the county forest in Sardinia, and we're going to do our best to try to clean up some of the debris and everything that's been left behind over the years, but it is a beautiful area. So come out to the county forest if you can. If you just want to get out to enjoy a day in nature and, and see some beautiful, beautiful sights. Hi, it's Mark Paul and Cars again in the County Forest, uh, Scarbuck Trail in Sardinia. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous day, Saturday, September 1st. And checking out the trail, I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't do, which is walk a little bit off the trail, just to kind of show you what you can find out here. Uh, this is the Scarbuck Trail again, and you just go a little bit off and you have this beautiful little ravine. Uh, normally the creek down there would be a little higher, but we've had such a, it's a dry uh, dry summer as we all know. Uh, there's hardly any uh, water running down there, but this is what you find out in, in Sardinia. Uh, remember, uh, less than 100 years ago, this 3,400 acres basically had no trees on it. It was farmland. And these trees were planted by uh, our prior leaders. Uh, they created a forestry division to to not only allow the county residents an opportunity to come out and see this beautiful, beautiful scenery, but over time to, to harvest trees and hopefully generate some revenue. 
uh, and unfortunately, as we've seen along the trail, uh, we, we don't really have a have a, a really pristine forest like we should from the fact that, as you can see in the distance and right in front of me here, we've got trees and logs and everything down. Uh, I, I know there was an attempt at a harvest a number of years ago when the harvester came in and did a very poor job, cut down a lot of these trees that they didn't want and just left them here. And a part of our problem is we're now going to have to clean up from what really was a very bad attempt in a prior administration to harvest the timber out here. And it's sad because uh, they've really left the county behind the eight ball, so to speak, with what needs to be done. Uh, but as I said, we're going to attempt to fix this as time goes by and uh, ensure that future generations can enjoy this forest like the people for the last hundred years have. So here we are walking down Scarbuck Trail again in the forest and I have to admit I've seen lots of wildlife already. You certainly can hear it in the background, but uh, deer, chipmunk, squirrels. I saw a turkey while I was driving down the road to get here. Uh, and the nice thing about these uh, trails too is many of them are available for horse riding. If you have a horse, and I saw a couple uh, trailers in the parking lot across the street from this trail. Uh, you can come out here and, and ride many of these trails with your horse. Uh, in the winter, of course, this is an area where snowmobilers come, and there is cross-country skiing as well. And here's that ravine that we looked at from above, and um, we're, we're now at the base of it. And you can see uh, just, uh, there's lots of trees that go up, I don't know how many feet, 100, maybe more. Uh, but it is beautiful out here, and uh, it is something that uh, we need to take advantage of more often and certainly need to uh, protect for future generations uh, so that people can come out here and enjoy uh, what they own because this is the people's forest. This is not uh, private land. This is, uh, this is our land, and we need to protect it for the future. Hi, right, it's Mark Polenkars again back in the county forest. Uh, this is actually a little better area. There's not as much trees down, though there's a few. Uh, but I wanted to show you something in particular. One of the problems and worries we have in the forest and parklands, truthfully now in Erie County, is as you see that tree is marked as an ash, and we have the wood borer beetle in town. And unfortunately, there's the worry that the wood borer beetle is going to decimate all the ash trees uh, in the area. And we may have no more ash trees. And if that's the case, maintaining this forest is going to be that much difficult as we have trees that are healthy trees that, that may be dead and not being able to uh, replenish them in the future. So that is a significant worry that we have here in the county forest and as well as county parks and across all of Erie County is that our ash trees will very soon no longer exist. So if you like to get out in the forest and see various types of species of trees, you better get out now because some of them are going to disappear within the next 10 to 15 years. Hi, it's Mark Polen Cars again. I just finished basically Scarbuck Trail. This is where we kind of came in. Went up the hill that way and just came back through the trail on this side. It took about an hour stopping here and there, yeah, 50 minutes, checking out uh, the conditions of the trail and got this beautiful wood bridge which takes us over this little running creek here. Uh, up front there is a warming hut where uh, you are on Genesee Road in Sardinia across the street is uh, the sawmill, is the uh, sugar shack, uh, there are bathrooms so you can come out here and actually use a bathroom. Uh, none on the trail though so you will have to know that. But uh, it is, it's not for the faint of heart uh, walking the, the trails. As you can kind of see there's some steepness in various parts. Uh, it's not a flat route, it is a beautiful route. Uh, it's a medium walk I would say uh, but if you have the ability I would recommend you come out here and enjoy the uh, Erie County Forest in Sardinia, and we are going to try to do a better job of maintaining in the future.